all of my strategies about uh, marketing, I have strategies for hand screen posters and scenery and selling scenery and all this stuff, they don't have anything to do with money. They just have to do with preserving the fragile vibe that you're creating with a show. It's not about money, it's about memorializing the vibe that you create. That's all it is. I've been doing extra shit for fuck, about 25 years. I did scenery for Killing Joke. Um, always do the scenery for Pig Face and cut it up. I just sent Danny Carey a piece of scenery. Um, he came out on the road with Pig Face for two weeks. Uh, right when I stopped drinking, I started doing Newcastle Brown Ale bottle cap art. I'm down in my basement doing scratch and sniff blueberry seven inches, right? I'm like, what are you doing, Martin? What the fuck are you doing? But what does that sound like? It's blueberry. That's what it fucking sounds like. It's blueberry. Am I selling blueberry muffins? No, I'm not selling blueberry muffins, actually. I'm giving... I'm giving the blueberry muffins away. Hit in the eye with a blueberry muffin. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? That was spectacular, wasn't it? I missed my calling. Maybe I'm selling some specially patented blueberry muffin removal wipes. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm just exploring that path, and I like where it's going, and I like the, um, the collisions that are being created. I started to question exploring all the paths I'm exploring. And then I saw that Starbucks just spent $25 million trying to find the smell that makes people spend more money at Starbucks, right? Turns out to be blueberry. And then I hear that Omni International Hotels have just copyrighted a smell, whatever you do with a smell, um, for the lobbies of the hotel. It's a little bit ginger, a little bit lemongrass, a little bit home, right? So I stopped questioning myself, and now I'm pouring gasoline on my own spark and seeing where it goes. You know, trying to be responsible, because I'm a father of four, but pouring gasoline on, on that spark nonetheless, because that's, I'm just being led somewhere. So you need to have that passion, find a passion, um, and pour gasoline on it. I think you have to build critical mass, right? You, 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 have, to, you have to be able to play well with horrifying diarrhea or just having something happen in the family. You, it's, it's not just about being good at your instrument and good as, good as a band. It's about being those things while you're on the road, losing your fucking mind, losing your credit, and losing your relationship, and trying to do some laundry and fucking deal with all of it. And the place to do that is east of that line. Once you build up momentum, right, you can take that momentum and go west. Right? If you're already on the west coast, fine. If you're thinking about moving somewhere, I'd suggest Nashville. It's a great central location to build up, to, to find places where it doesn't work, find places where it does, and start to build a buzz. Um, but if you add up, um, we, we've taken that a step further, and we looked at a band based in Chicago that, that do the first cycle of shows and then go a couple of cities further and a couple of cities further, and it covers that whole uh, eastern third. For a band in Seattle, um, by the time they've, they've, they've gotten to the third tier of cities, they've they just chewed up miles and gasoline and time, and maybe they've lost their day jobs. 
It's just there's more chance to build your band and get four or 500 shows under your belt east of that line, and then go. If you're getting radio play, then go anyway. If your brother owns a label in LA, go. Right, it's a flexible rule. You pour gasoline where there's a spark. Any questions <laughs> about blueberry muffins? You can catch me on MySpace. I answer my MySpace stuff. Sometimes it takes me a day or two, but uh, you can ask me a question on MySpace, and I'll be outside for a while too. Thanks, guys. Yeah.